So NBC says, out with the old, in with the new. The Cape. So the cape's the story of a good cop who's framed for the crimes of a masked criminal and then he's thought to be killed and dead. Only to be trained by Keith David. And I'm not gonna lie, when Goliath's all like, Joe time. You gotta train under him. So then he learns the ways of illusion and magic tricks and then dons the name, The Cape. The shittiest superhero name in history. Next to Robin. Seriously, when you hear The Cape, who doesn't think, The Cape. Now superhero shows are pretty hard to pull off because they all get canceled, like all of them that are not on the CW. And any show Summer Glau's in gets nixed too. So I mean, I'm just watching the show going, what's the point of this? It's gonna get canceled in a couple months anyway or weeks. Because in a superhero show, we want to see superhero stuff. We want to see badassery, which means one of two things. They're gonna try to show it and have crappy CGI. His cape was really CGI in a couple scenes. It, mm. Or they're just gonna cut out an entire badass fight and just show the aftermath of him questioning the criminals. Either way, not good. And there is a reason. Yeah, I'm picking the show apart. I'm sorry for people who like it. <laughs> I'm just saying. But there's a reason Batman's all like, I'm Batman. Your superhero persona and your human persona should feel like two different things. It should be two different vibes. This not only helps in your anonymity, but it helps us feel like you mean business when you put on the cape. But he's the same character with or without the costume. It just makes it feel like it's made for TV. And there was a scene where he's questioning a criminal in a public place without his mask. Good job, dude. Your face is only on every newspaper. I mean, that is not smart. That is not becoming of the cape. And how long did he actually train? I mean, he's mastered these illusions that take like a lifetime to master, or at least years. And you get the distinct feeling that he is trained relentlessly day in, day out for about 12 and a half days. Maybe he's just badass like that. More badass even than Bruce Wayne who trained for like five years and he got a new superhero voice afterwards. I'm Batman. It's like the biggest fan of Darkman saw Batman Begins and was like, it's okay, but I'll make it better. And here we are with the cape. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It would be cool to see the character get reunited with his family and whatnot, but I'm not about to sit through a show that's probably gonna get canceled and thus make me feel like I've wasted my time. And I think it'll get canceled for a couple of reasons. One, I have seen vastly superior shows get canceled. And two, it's in the kiss of death time slot. It's like NBC was like, all right, we canceled one superhero show. Now let's make another one and put it in the time slot where we cancel everything. Monday night, 9 p.m. on NBC. It's not a good place to be. Is this the whole negative times a negative equals a positive thing? Cause I'm not gonna lie. I don't think elementary school math, it, <laughs> I don't think it applies here. But I've personally seen shows start out crappy and turn cool, but that's the exception, not the rule. That was an unintentional rhyme. So I would like to see it become better. It has potential to be better. But as I always say, there is a world of difference between potential and reality. Summer Glau's hot though. And that's something. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, then click right here to see more.